Round three of the 2019 ITU World Triathlon Series took place in Yokohama. Series leader Katie Zafiris have been faultless so far with victories in the opening two events in Abu Dhabi and Bermuda. Jess Learmont there came in in second place after very consistent performances herself. 44 women dived off the start pontoon. Two Americans and three Brits in the top six in the series at the start of play. And it was the usual suspects in the water. Learmont so often leads. She'd led at the water in 11 previous WTS events. 18 and a half minutes and change. Zafira, though, wasn't far behind. Taylor Spivey, also prominent, out of the water, along with Maya Kingma from the Netherlands. And fairly quickly, there was a group of seven that established a lead at the front. Initially, no more than around 15 seconds, but even that apparently small margin in the end proved decisive because the chasing pack just couldn't make any inroads at all. And in that chasing pack were some stellar names as well. Some very good runners, including the likes of Non Stanford and Cassandra Beaugrand from France. Only about a quarter of a minute behind after the end of the first lap but the leaders would extend their advantage on every subsequent lap after that. It was a dominant display, plenty of credit to the likes of Learmont who led for much of the time on her own, doing most of the work in that leading group of seven. And it soon became apparent that they would have it between them as far as the medals were concerned. First chase group were two minutes back and the second chase group a further minute adrift. No chance for those in either of those packs to get amongst the medals. Pretty decent transitions for all the leading protagonists. Safirez very consistent in this area. Learmonth as well. And maybe a surprise name up there was Summer Rappaport. Nay Cook. Cycling had been her Achilles heel, but she put it together today and broke away with Zafirez. The two Americans well clear of the field. And they had it between them for gold and silver. A similar battle ensuing just behind. Taylor Spivey and Yuka Takahashi of Japan having their own personal duel for silver, for bronze rather. But as they uh, enter the last kilometre or so, Spivey broke Takahashi and the Japanese couldn't respond there. Good friends, those two. They trained together as well. And up front, it looked as though Rappaport was going to try and produce a, a late sprint to get ahead of Zafiris. In the end, it was just the opposite. Zafiris had the upper hand. And in the end, won comfortably, although the result had been in doubt until the last kilometre or so. She's looked nigh on unbeatable, though, this season. The woman who so narrowly missed out on the title 12 months ago. Almost even happier was Rappaport. The first time she'd made a WTS podium since Edmonton back in 2016. You can see exactly what it meant to her. And just behind them, Taylor Spivey completing a 1-2-3 clean sweep for the Americans, the fourth time that they had achieved that feat. Takahashi on home soil, a very creditable fourth place. As ever, very decent crowds in Yokohama. I can move into our photo session. And a podium that was all red, white and blue. No wonder they were all smiles, especially Zafiris. He's been uncatchable so far. And clearly, even after only three races, a very, very firm favourite to land the title for the first time. I mean, it was definitely a different race than the last couple, and Summer pushed me on the run the whole entire thing. I tried to be more tactical with little pushes, and that last lap, I just really pushed the hill and knew to put, continue pushing over it. I got a break, but I just decided to keep pushing because I didn't know if she was coming up behind me. Three wins out of three, then, for Zafiris. Maximum points. Battle resumes in Leeds next month.